Well, here's the problem that I have. Got the bathroom almost done. I was gonna put in the toilet, but since we put in tile, you can see that the toilet flange is below the level of the tile. Now you can't have that. The toilet flange should be sitting on top of the finished floor. So what I did is I went and purchased this set right toilet flange extension kit and that should do the job. There's going to be more than what I need. But basically what you do is you know I'm going to set uh, <laughs> you'll think that it's going to be a gasket and then I'll set whatever I need for uh, basically shims hold on for shims to get it up to floor level and then this part is going to go through this gasket which is kind of a almost a neoprene feeling stuff it'll be here and this yellow thing's going to go down into the existing hole, make a nice tight seal. And then I'll be able to mount the existing toilet, which I got nice and clean. And that should be that. Now I've gone ahead and inserted this gasket and this is the thinnest Seems like all I'm gonna need. I did have to did take the liberty of drilling out those holes. Should be good. And then all I should have to do is press that in. go. So now it's at much better height above the floor, above the finished floor. Cleanly goes down, is sealed. Uh, the chute it goes below there. And all I should have to do is put the uh, wax ring on and the toilet, the one thing that they did say is that the wax ring, uh, I think it should not have the uh, flange on it. So I'm gonna have to get the actual simplest, cheapest wax ring without the black thing in there and should be good to go. Here it says, standard wax ring, no reinforcement horn. So I'm assuming that is the one that I usually use, so I have to get the cheapy. So, since what I had is what I've always used, the jumbo ring that has the uh, that sleeve in there, and it said don't use that. So I went down to Ace Hardware, got the standard ring, and that should fit on the toilet. I know that looks disgusting, but it's as clean as I can get it. So I'm gonna put this wax ring on there, set the toilet down, seat it, and put it all together. So I've set the toilet down, and very carefully, Basically, I just sit <laughs> right about here and let the uh, wax ring settle down. Very slowly tighten the bolts. It's hard to know when they're tight enough or too tight. Crack the porcelain, you ruin your toilet. 
So in about an hour or so, I'll come back and I'll see if I can snug them up just a little bit more um, after I put on the tank. Well, I'm nearly complete with the installation. The floor bolts are as tight as I want to get them. You can see a little bit of the uh, wax ring squishing through, which is a good sign. The toilet is on there very solid. I've attached the water line. Inside, uh, new parts. And that's a new part. The center column and handle are not, but those seem to be okay. Not 100% level. The, uh, the three bolts down there, I'm gonna let those settle for just a little bit before getting back to them. You hate to tighten them too much for risking, you know, the risk of the of breaking the porcelain. Very dusty. They are new parts, but so uh, next, I just want to tighten them up a little bit, turn the water on, and hopefully we don't have any leaks. Put the lid on, and then. Uh, Maybe have some strong coffee and see if it works, if you know what I mean.